What's up, guys? It is Canadian Gee here, back with another episode of the Chicago Blackhawks GMO franchise series here on the channel. In the last episode, we did a couple months of simulation. We are sitting at a record of 12, 9, and 3. And I believe that is good enough for third place in the Central Division. Six points behind the Predators and 11 points behind the Dallas Stars, who we have not beat yet this season. We're 0-4 against them. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, in this episode, we are going to do a couple months of simulation again. And um, I don't expect this to be a very eventful episode, but um, we'll have to wait and see. We might take it up to the trade deadline or close to and assess where we are as a team, or we might stop around February 1st and pick it up from there. So without further ado, let's get ahead and go ahead right into simulation. In the last episode, or off camera I should say, I signed the scouts to January 1st. So we will have to see some more scouts, scouting assignments in this episode as well. Um, Kirby Duck is out with a mild concussion. That's fine. Brendan Hagel. Was he injured or is he just uh yeah, he's okay. Um I need to do something here to get uh, Lucas Reichel going. So I'm going to put Evan Barrett on his on his wing along with a Michael Tepley. I need to get him going. He is not performing the way I would want him to. That being Lucas Reichel. Rodine, he's doing fine. Producing. Same with Jake Bean. He's producing at a high level. Goaltenders, Camesso, outstanding, 949 save percentage in eight games. And Alexi Gravel, a 935 save percentage. Two very solid goaltenders down there in the AHL. They, they give our team a chance to win each and every time they're out there, no matter who's out there. Uh, Philip Kurashev. You can go back in. There's Cole Moberg. He's yet to play a game, a seventh rounder power forward up to 74. I'm going to go ahead and leave him in there. Central Let's go take a look at the draft class to see what we're looking at here. So the top pick, you see we're tanning. We're not sure yet, but I expect him to be good. He's above Mitchkoff, Fantilli, and Bedard. So he better be good. Uh, Desmond Doig, a auto-generated player, looks really good. Colton Gamble, same thing. Wayne Rich, Niedermeyer. Is there anyone that's up here that we don't have a scout on? Uh, extra Liga. We don't have anyone in the Extra Liga, so we got to remember that. Um, anyone else in the Extra Liga that's really worth it? Oh, 17 and 18. Tw yeah, we need to get someone out there in the Extra Liga. No one in the ice. I love Scallon. Alice Fenskin. And I believe that in the Dell, we do have some someone in the Dell. Or maybe not. No, we don't. Okay. So, I'll have to remember that for season's end. Kirby Doc is back. He was replaced by Highmore. Who has 7 points in 17 games. I'm going to go ahead and put him back on the fourth line. We gave Denny Mulgeen some games. 12 games. 7 points for Denny Mulgeen. I, I got to leave him out there. Quim Costin. He can come out. Um, Mulligan, he's going to go on the right side. And let's put in Matthew Highmore. Back on the fourth line. Uh, and then Tome Kill, Hammer's back in there. Mulligan's on the power play, on the penalty kill. Um, is he on the power play as well? No, he's just fourth line. Uh, I guess that's a military spot. All right, that's fine. Don't really have anyone else that can play there. How's right Reichel doing now? Still five points. Come on. Uh, Di Giuseppe, he's gonna come out for a Philip Kurashev. Moberg on one game is a minus one. I'll take him out. And put in Mikhail Abramov. Abramov, I should say. We give up seven goals to the Ottawa Senators there in the 7-5 loss. 
Minnesota not looking too hot. 9, 20, and 1. Adam Bogfist is set to go back in. How's he doing? 13 points, 24 games. Could be better. Could be worse, though. We lose to Minnesota in regulation. We beat Vegas 1-0 in a shootout. We beat LA 8-5. We beat Arizona 2-1. Another game against the Golden Knights. We lose 2-0. Okay. Game against the Florida Panthers. We win in a shootout 6-5. Game against Carolina. They're really good. We beat them 3-1. What an up and down kind of turnaround for the Canes. Last year, they were they were awful. I mean, I don't remember their record off the top of my head, but they were awful. I want to say they had under 15 wins the entire year. I don't know if there's like a way I could check what their overall record was, but I knew they were like a top five pick they had. Uh, I'm not sure who they picked. I believe it was Rucker McGordery. Yeah, it was. When, when did they pick him? A fourth overall. They had a top five pick last year. Like, they were not good. I know they have Jordan Bennington, who is their star. They brought in a UC Corpus, or Jonas Corpusala, it looks like. Did they sign him, or was he there last year? Okay, they signed him. And then uh, Jordan Bennington last year, 21, 36, and 12. So I guess they did have over 15 wins. But in 70 games, only, like, god awful. They were not good last year, and now that they're where they're at right now, that's a pretty big turnaround. So we're here at January 1st. We sit at 18, 15, and 3. Tebow Teravine is still leading our team in points with 43 in 36 games. We are sitting third in our, our division still, tied with the Avalanche. Two points ahead of the Jets. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the team, team stats, team player stats. Tebow Teravainen, Patrick Kane, 43 and 32 points respectively. Kirby Doc is turning around, 19 points. How many did he have last year? 43. Okay, so I'm thinking of the year before when we were at 24. But um, I wish it was a little better, but I'm not going to complain too much. Dylan Strom needs to turn it around. He's a minus 14. Jaden Bokefist, 17 points in 31 games. It's, he's on a better pace than he was last year, that's for sure. Barbashev, Atu Reddy. He's doing all right, I guess. 92 offensive awareness. You'd think he'd be doing a little bit better. He's having his best year in the NHL so far with 14 points. Ayafalo was doing terrible. 12 points in 36 games. So he's going to have to really catch up if he wants to be on pace for what he was last year. Uh, Goaltending. Uh, Casey DeSmith has a negative record in 31 games. Five shutouts, though. A 9-10 save percentage with 2.69 goals against average. Uh, Jake Ottinger, 7-1-1 in 12 games with two shutouts. He's playing really well. 7-1-1 for Jake Ottinger. That's good. Our AHL squad with the Rockford Ice Hogs. Evan Barrett leading our team in points. Mason Alpeson right behind him. Sepley, Hagel, Liam Rodin is up there with 13 points. He's playing pretty well. Jake Bean, Vlasic, Zarella. Lucas Reichel, 7 points in 33 games. He's really got to turn it around, man. Those, those puck skills need to get up there if he wants to get more points. Kelly Sayin, 4 points in 33 games. I wish he'd perform a little bit better. And goaltending is definitely a strong suit down there. Drew Camesso in 16 games with, has a 12, 2, and 1 record with two shutouts. A 9.39 save percentage and a 1.43 goals against average. Elixir Gravel in 18 games played has a 10, 5, and 3 record with two shutouts. A 9.34 save percentage and a 1.61 goals against average. So two very solid goaltenders down there in the AHL and they have an overall record of 22 7 and 4
Um, what can I do now? I do need to assign the scouts. That is something I do need to do. But is there anything else? Uh, marketing budget, is it all? Yeah, that's still set. We're still good there. Um, set prices, should I? Yeah, okay. So prices are going down and up. Uh, upgrade and maintain, how are we doing? Still doing pretty good. So not bad. So I guess I can go ahead and send the scouts now. Uh, so we, we already know what the top guys are, right? I guess we don't know anything about really hate or Brandon Jaeger. So let's do potential comparison for these guys. This, this can go to um, March 1st. 27, 28, March 1st. So we'll take it all the way up to March 1st with our guys now. There you go. Bring on another WHL guy. Oh, I'm not doing... I'm dumb. I was wondering why I, <laughs> I had so much time for that scout. OHL. Philly Gamble, do I know anything on him yet? Yep. And then I can start with these guys. So I did the centers. Uh, left wing. Fawcett. All right. Then right wing and defenseman with this guy, I guess. Okay, we still have a lot to do in the OHL. QMJHL. Goalies. And defensemen. This is the long and boring part. I keep reiterating myself, and I do apologize. But, um... I'm going to continue to keep saying, um, I just want to show you guys how I scout and how I do it. So you guys can get a feel for the newcomers that may be watching my stuff. Uh, this is how I scout and this is how I get the best um, prospects in my opinion. So take it with a grain of salt. This may not be how you do it. This may not be the perfect way to do it. It's how I do it, and it's it's worked out well for me. So take it with a grain of salt. So moving along here. There you go. You will say East. I can just kind of go down the list here with this. So we got down to Love. Uh, NLA. Wine Rich. am I going to work? What do you want from me? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> God damn. 
Uh, Swedish Hockey League. Saravainen. Get those guys in there. Go back on to Edler. Leopold. Right side. SM Liga. Goaltending. Defense. Almost done. We are almost done. Good enough. And finally, we're going to stop in Russia. Still in February. Still in February. Okay, so we can get nine with that. That's nice. And final Russian guy. And I guess I'll do defenseman the next time around. Okay, so we're finally done. So now we can, can uh, continue on simulating. So we're going to stop it at February 1st. We're already up to 16 minutes. So one more month of simulation, and that's where we will wrap it up. We lose there to, against the Columbus Blue Jackets. We lose to the Philadelphia Flyers. I guess this team is just going to be stuck in purgatory. Like, going into year one, I wanted to rebuild. Like, like tear it down, get top five picks. But we just ha haven't been that bad. And I'm not sure why. This team on paper, yeah, it probably should be a purgatory team. But the first two years, I tried to tear it down and, you know, really rebuild this roster. But um, they continued to perform, perform. I mean, we made the playoffs last year. Did we not? I believe we made the playoffs last year against the Winnipeg Jets. We had over 40 wins each of the last two seasons. And that Zuccarello's on waivers. What's he looking like? 78 overall. He's still fast. He's 35 years old. It would get help us get us to the cap floor a little bit better. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and claim him. This doesn't really make sense for a lot of reasons. But um, for us, we're going to have over $45 million in cap space next season so I'm gonna go ahead and claim them uh, so when was that that was the 18th uh, so Matt Zuccarello has been claimed Di Giuseppe's gonna come out Sholin is gonna go in there he's down here now right yep um, Sorderland. Okay, yeah, I'll leave it at that. But the $60 million cap hit for the next two seasons will help us get to the floor a little bit easier. And it's only for two years, and we're going to have cap space for more than two years. So uh, I'm fine with that signing. Radulov can stay in there. Uh, it was Jake Bean who needed to come out. Alec Regula. I want him to stay in there. So I guess Radulov is going to have to come out. And Jake Bean can go in there. So almost done here. We're going to finish up the video with a... What kind of record? We're going to have a 25-20-4 record at February 1st. 25 days away from the trade deadline. And we'll leave that for the next episode. Patrick Kane has overtaken Tebow Teravainen in the points race for our team. So we finish off 25-20-4. and four. Fourth in our division. Four points behind the Jets for third place. We are in a wild card spot with a three-point lead over the Avalanche. And four-point lead over the Ducks. And one point behind the Coyotes for the first wild card spot. But, um, yeah, guys, I want to thank you guys for taking time to watch this episode. If you liked it, hit the like button. 
If you want to see more content like the one you just saw, hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell's notification so you never miss an upload. I'm trying to upload every single second day, or every other day I should say. But um, yeah guys, I'll see you guys in the next episode.